Rasty McGibbon with Stan Lucas, Men's Division II Lindenwood. First of all, congratulations uh, on a win tonight, advancing out of your pool. Thank you. Um, you guys are really developing a relationship slash rivalry with Liberty. Um, and uh, that culminated tonight as both of you were undefeated in your pool yep. and met. Just kind of walk me through, um, you know, you tell me a little bit about the mutual respect you guys have for each other, but, but just walk me into the game plan for tonight meeting Liberty. Um, so during the season, our coach set a schedule so that way we were playing against them because we knew we'd see them here. We knew that they'd be a big challenge for us and that it was going to be us or them out of our pool. And more or less, um, sorry, I'm blanking. No, no, no. Uh, so so as, as, you, as you went into tonight, business as usual or anything yeah, special? Yeah, no, it was just business as usual. We had our game plan, and since we had played them a couple times, we had a general idea of their play style, and it really helped that we played them throughout the year, so that way we could um, adjust our game accordingly. Um, game tonight was really back and forth. Culminated in a 3-3 tie. You guys go to overtime. Um, walk me through. Uh, I think you guys scored quite early in that overtime yeah, period. Just kind of walk me through that. Um, so the puck got dumped into our zone, and Michael Mullen, my line mate, got the puck on the wall, and I noticed that there was four low, so I started dashing across, and he did a chip pass out, and I was able to catch it, and... I didn't know at the time that it was Robinson. He's been awesome for us this year. Um, but we had a two-on-one to the net and made a backhand pass to him, and he got the backdoor tap. And Essentially for you guys, this is a home game. Right. Um, how awesome is it, one, to win in overtime in front of your home crowd? Oh, it's fantastic, especially because we have a lot of St. Louis guys and all their family gets to come. And it's really nice that there's not huge distance for a lot of people who want to come watch us. It's a total game changer. How, how awesome is it that you get to sleep in your own bed over every night? That's probably the best part. Yeah. <laughs> you get to sleep in your bed. When you look at hockey in St. Louis, and you know, you're, you're an Illinois guy, but you know, if you were to create a metro St. Louis area, you probably would yeah. be encompassed in that. Yeah. What, what, what do you think um, this speaks to the level of hockey in St. Louis? I think that the level just keeps growing. Every, every day more and more kids, really talented kids, are playing and starting. And it's, it's really cool to see everything grow. It started with that draft class with Kachuk and um, Keller and all those guys. And it's just been really awesome to see. As you now have punched your ticket for pool play, um, how do you potentially prepare yourselves as a team for teams that you may not have encountered throughout the regular season? Um, I think we're going to go at it the same way. I mean, we didn't play Providence or Army throughout the season, and we have the same exact game plan every day that we show up to the rink, so not much is going to change in terms of how we prepare ourselves for tomorrow. Very good. Well, hey, I want to say again, congratulations. Thank you. On a big overtime win for you guys you. Um, over Liberty as you punch your ticket to the semifinals. Thank you. This is uh, Stan Lucas, Men's Division Two, Lindenwood.